Hello everyone. This is a basic tutorial for using Google Classroom on mobile phone. And this is more relevant to students. So I hope you would have downloaded Google Classroom on your mobile phone. If you have not, uh, you can go to the Play Store or Marketplace of your mobile phone and from there you can download the Google Classroom. Remember to access the Google Classroom with the same email ID that's provided by your school or with the same email ID that you have shared with your teacher. So once you have logged in Google Classroom, you can uh, see this sort of interface. I am logged in here as Priya Handa as a student. Now here you can see the first icon is of classes. If you will click on classes, you will see all the classes that you have joined. It depends on your school, what name is there. It could be related to, of course, it would be related to your subject like SST demo class, science class, Hindi class, followed with your say class 9, class 10, whatever. So this would be the interface for the classes. Then second icon is there for calendar. I am skipping it for the moment. Further, we have notifications. Now you see under enrolled button, you can see to do. Now this is a very, very important button and it will give you the summary. Now if I'll click here on to do, what I will see, I will see under to do the list of due work that is there. Now exercise one, maths work is due. So this is to do and the second tab here is done. If you have done and submitted any work, it would come here. So I have one work pending and this I can show you how you can do this work and submit to your class. Let's get back to the main page. Now here there was other classes that are shown below and other settings. Now, as I said, our focus will be on the work. Now, either you can directly click here on the maths demo class and go or what you can do, you can go to the classes and from there you can enter your maths class. So let's enter the maths class. You can see new assignment exercise one extra questions. You need to click on it. Once you will click, it will show like this. Now there you can see there are two instructions also. Do your work neatly in the notebook. Show all the steps. So these are the instructions and further at the bottom, you can see there is an attachment. You can click on it. When you will click on it, it will show you what work is there. Now you see the questions and now you can start doing your work. As the instruction of the teacher said, do it in your notebook. So you can do the work and simplify it in your notebook. Now say you have done your work and now you want to submit it. Now how you can submit it? You can see that there is an arrow here, right? Click on it. When you will click that arrow, you would see add attachment button here with the plus icon. Now there are two things. Either you click your work with the camera of your mobile and save it in the gallery. And when you will click on add attachment, you can directly go to the gallery. Or the simple way is you can see here take photo option. So what you can do, you can open your notebook wherever you have done your work and click on take photo. So let's click on take photo. You see here is my work where I have done it. So you can simply click a photo of it to show it to your teacher. Now you have clicked the photograph. You see it's neatly done. So you can check it that this is fine. Once you would check it, this attachment would be added here in a few seconds. But adding that attachment does not mean that you have submitted your work. Your attachment is here until and unless you press this turn in button. Now this turn in is that okay you are now satisfied that you have attached the right thing here and this is it. If you have more pages you can again click on add attachment, take a photo and post it. There are other options also. Please explore it at your own like sending a file. You can click on file and then go to the gallery of the phone. You can record a video right there. If you have any, you want to type it here, then the type options are you can go to new docs and create a document. 
anyhow taking photo is the best option now you have turned in you need to turn in your work so click here on turn in to submit your work i am again saying until unless you press this button your work will not be submitted it is asking you turn in your work two attachments will be submitted for exercise 1 extra question now let's turn in now two attachment what we have done is we need to remove the exercise 1 attachment here that was the question so yes turn in now and turn in and this is going now this work has been submitted this is the unsubmit button this work has been submitted now let me show you how you can easily check it is submitted let's go back click on to do now see in to do there is no work now let's swap it to done you see in done exercise 1 extra question now this is coming under done it means that you have done this work and submitted it it is not coming under to do so this is very simple for you to use i hope uh, this video would be helpful if even if you are using your phone for accessing google classroom it is very very simple just follow the instruction enter the class where you want to or you can access it through the to do also where it, the list of the work is shown That's it for today this is Priya Handa signing off may god bless you all